Hey, what's up guys? Seth here, bringing you another fun deck to play with, especially when it comes to the Sephiros. So, right now we are still experimenting with this deck, but it seems to be very fucking solid. I like how this deck plays and the plays that it has um, and it's capable of. I've been playing a lot of this on stream and I've been winning quite a lot of duels with that. It's, it slightly struggles with the Talonite matchup if you don't get skill drain, but aside from that, it, it works solidly. Like, I can't complain about how good this deck is, especially with Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. So, um, if you guys do like this video, please remember to comment, like, and share this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do that as well. It does help out, and you guys get the be you know the best updates, and you know um, you get updated when I'm streaming and stuff. So, anyways, get into this deck profile. We have two Bian Earth of the Yang Zeng. We have uh, two Bixi Water of the Yang Zeng. We have uh, two of the Chi Wen Light of the Yang Zeng. Two Dragon Dowsers. Uh, two as that Jaito. Darkness of the Yang Zeng, um, one Pao Lo, Wind of the Yang Zeng, three Swanee, Fire of the Yang Zeng, one Tao Te, is it Tao Te? Shadow of the Yang Zeng, doesn't matter, uh, Zephyr of uh, Fusi, or is it Fuxi, or whatever, how you say it, however you're going to say it, a Treasure of the Yang Zeng at two, and we have uh, the MVP of the deck, Zephyr Quenu, or Quenyu, or how is hell you say it, uh, Secret of the Yang Zeng. So, we for the spells we have three Mystical Space Typhoon, three Oracle Zephyr, three Yang Zeng Path, one Bottomless Trap Hole, three Call of Hauntings, one Compulsory Evacuation Device, two Jarrah Avarices, two Skill Drains, one Solemn Warning, one Torrential Tribute. For the extra deck, and this is the important part, is uh, we've got Bak uh, Baxia, Brightness of Yang Zeng, we have Beel Zeus of the Diabolical Uber Dragons. We have uh, Chao Fang, Legend of the Yang Zeng. He's the key to this deck. I will explain him in a second. Clear Wing Synchro Dragon at one, uh, Cloud Castle at one, uh, Crimson Blader, Leo, Red Dragon, Archfiend, Samsara, uh, Scrap Dragon, Star Eater, TG Hyper Librarian, Thought Ruler, Archfiend, and the other MVP of the deck, Yatsi, Evil of the Yang Zeng. So, let me explain this deck very quickly, okay? The reason that we're on Dragon Dowser is. When he's destroyed, or uh, when he's destroyed by battle, or by an opponent's card effect sent to the graveyard, he'll special summon Quinn. But it's the key to this: you don't run Frontline Observer because what he does is he special summons Quinn and then destroys it at the end phase. So then Quinn will get her effect to add Oracle of Zephyr or Yang Zeng Path at the end of the you know at the end of the turn, which gives you the chance to then add. Uh, Oracle of Zephyr, you activate that on your following turn and add, you can add a Treasure of the Yang Zeng or another Quinu, or Secret of the Yang Zeng, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, and then that's that's how she plays out, like that's how she plays out, and then you might be able to Pendulum Summon and make that work out for you, because you can keep adding Yang Zeng Pass whenever you Pendulum Summon, or it gets destroyed, you know. So that works out. The deck has lots of stall potential, but the keys to the deck are, um, the reason we're on Jarrah Avarice is sometimes they'll destroy all your Zephyrs or your Yang Zeng Pass have all been used. In which case, Jarrah Avarice can target those and bring them back into the deck. You know, bring all five of these back to the deck and then draw one card. And you, then you can reuse your Yang Zeng Pass by Pendulum Summoning the Quinn again. And then you've just got infinite recycle ability. Like, once you've used all of these, you can then reuse them with Jarrah Avarice, so that's what makes it so good. It just has the lasting effect of a of a really good deck. So the reason we run Skill Drain is Talonites, pure and simple. Talonites are so busted, and also it just it's beneficial for us to not have to worry about effects because all of our effects, pretty much except for uh, Jaito or Jaito, his his effect activates on the field, but everybody else's activates in the grave. So that's fine except for the Pendulum Summon monsters, but that won't matter because you wouldn't really skill drain unless you have to, unless you're forced to make a play. So, on top of that, once you've used skill drain, you can then use Water the Yang Zeng and then, you know, uh, the Synchro monster that was used for the Synchro material is unaffected by Trap Effect. So, it's just solid. It's really solid. And with this new card, this guy is, is a beast. This guy can win you so many games. 
I, I'll just explain them. If this card was synchro summoned, your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters with the same attribute as the original attribute of the Yang Zeng monster used for the synchro summon of this card. So let's say this card is a 9, okay? So usually you would go 6, 1, and 2. 6, 1, and 2, there's 9, okay? So you've got water, you've got light, and you've got earth. So you can negate Khaliforce, you can negate Necros, and you can negate Telenites, just with those three. Or you can go a different path, you can go Dark, Earth, Light. Alternatively you can go uh, Dark, um, yeah, sorry. I was thinking of something else, I was thinking of something else. But yeah, you can still do so many things, you can go 4-4-1, four, four, you can go, uh, you know, you can go 3-4-2. So you can go, you know, Bayan and Swanee and uh, Jaito whatever um, and that can work or you can just use him you can use uh, the the shadow of the Yang Zhang and go 5 um, 5 2 and then 2 so you can negate darks and and waters so it, it works it really does work and the other thing about him is he's got a really good effect where once per turn when a monster your opponent controls is destroyed by battle or by card effect you can special summon one worm type monster from your deck whose attribute is the same with at least one of those destroyed monsters original attributes uh, on the field so he pr he's pretty much a, a beast if you can get him to 3300 attack and you know make him uh, unaffected by like waters or, or something like that then he's really a solid card he's just he's a beast when he gets out onto the field so he's the key to the deck the second key to the deck and I really like this card is Clearwing Synchro Dragon because it's four, it can be done very easily just with six and one. Six and one and you immediately get a clear wing synchro dragon. But if you want to do it another way, you can go, uh, you can definitely go two, three and two. So you go five and then it can't be destroyed by battle and it's unaffected by trap effect. So it's good in that sense too. It's really good in that sense, and it's not exactly hard to happen either, because if you can use this card's effect to discard, you know, two Yang Zings, you can special summon one of these, because it has zero attack, and one of these, because it has zero defense, and then immediately make a clear wing Synchro Dragon, or one of these, Yatsi Evil the Yang Zeng. And his, his effect is beastly, because he can't be targeted by card effects. So, as long as he's not targeted by card effects, um, the only thing that's really going to take him out is a straight up uh, uh, Raigeki or something, you know, he can't be snatched steeled, he can't be targeted by big eyes or something like that, and he's unaffected by skill drain, so if you do have skill drain on the field, he's not going to be touched by it, so this deck is really solid, you guys should try it out, I think it's tier 2, I think it's tier 2, I'm not going to hype this one up, I'm not going to say that this one's godly, I'm just saying that this deck is really good, I like it, and it has the potential to be uh, a lot better with more support for Yang Zengs or Zephyrus, it could reach a bit higher. But for now, it's probably about tier 2, tier 3, maybe. But it's a very fun deck, so give it a go, maybe make some changes, maybe put in some Vanny's Emptiness if you feel that's what it needs, and, you know, uh, leave your comments below and stuff. Anyways, this is Seth punching out.